in Florida or then maybe outside of Florida. Who's your favorite opponent? Who's the best guy you ever worked with to make money or to have fun? And who's the best wrestler you've seen? Best wrestler? Yeah. Ray, in your opinion. Ray Stevens. Okay. Johnny Valentine. Real thin line. Yeah. I mean, uh, Mark Lewin's up there, baby face or heel. You know, and I'm going to throw some names out for people that never get the nod. Brad Armstrong was Jimmy, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. God, there was he was great. Uh, Ray Stevens was another really good guy. I was in San Francisco and I got a little break there, and they brought him in to be my partner. And uh, oh, you uh, get to team with Ray Stevens yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah, well, yeah okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I came up to him and I said, uh, Ray. Uh, uh, they wanted DQ, and because of the, we were against the Von uh, Brownis and they were the champs, I said they wanted DQ. What if I sell for you, give you a tag, and what do you think we could use for finish? He said, no, you got it all wrong on that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he said, I'm selling for you. This is your town now. You make the comeback, we'll end up going to the floor with both of them, and we'll have a count out. He said, but you make the comeback. And he went out and sold, and I'm in the ring. And Rick, I'm sorry, but uh, that ain't the upside down bump. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> that is not the upside down bump. And I mean, I was watching him, and it was like watching a, a river. You and know this what I mean? at the time he'd been he'd been wrestling for 25 years, or right? 30, or 30 yeah, at that point. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, another guy. You know, you know what? And I understand when everybody does it now, they grab the middle rope. And, of course, Rick goes a little sideways because yeah, yeah. of his back, and I can understand that. But everybody grabbed him, and Michaels made it look so pretty. It doesn't hurt, and yeah. it's all flippy-floppy and everything. But Stevens, you couldn't even tell when he turned. They just, like the old-fashioned arm right, whip, right. where they would grab the, the wrist with both hands and just yank like that, and one little yank, and somehow he made it visually plausible that just that one little yank, as he was already running full speed across, he would fly upside down, wouldn't grab anything. The shoulders would hit the middle, the ass would hit the top. Yeah. He'd go up over, come back, down, boom, just instantly. And you'd, yeah. the hell, how did that happen? It, yeah. was, it was amazing. I mean, I, I've been lucky, and you have too, Jimmy. We've seen some, you had, I mean, Bobby, okay? Yeah, yeah. But we've seen some great performers in our day, and they're all different, you know what I mean? Even though the chic was violence, you have to be a great performer to stay that yeah. long. But and in his younger days, he was a hell of an athlete and, and showed yeah. that. It's just as he got older, that's what, what worked for it. But the other one is Valentine. You know, it took him a while to get over yeah. because he was so believable. He beat you to death. But I, I was in St. Louis with him one time. And, uh, you know, going to St. Louis was a big deal, right, for anybody. And he, I always got along good with him. And he's, uh, I actually went 15 minutes with him on TV when it was Beat the Champ, the Silver Dollars. Yeah. Came over to me and said, uh, you think you can carry me for 15 minutes? I went, what? He said, yeah, we're going to go through 15 minutes. And he was going for the elbow, and I was just like, move, move, you know. Yeah. And he was whacking me, and I'd fight back. But I would talk to him about psychology sometimes, and I said, he, I said Johnny, how do you... How do you do it? You know, yeah. go on. I'm stupid. Let me in on it. He said, I'll show you tonight. He goes out and he had that black robe and he looked terrific. You know, Johnny looked like a wrestler, didn't yeah. he? You know what I mean? Yeah. And he takes off the robe. And the he's atomic just, blonde. Yeah. As yeah. he's taken off the robe, he looks, stops taking off the robe, and he's looking up at the top balcony in St. Louis. So I'm saying, what the hell is he looking at? And I see it about, just like right here, the four guys start screaming. What the fuck's he looking at, right? Yeah. Before he took off the robe, he had them ready to jump off the balcony. And it was just that eye contact. He looked so vicious, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of scared you like a bad dog, you know what I mean? He looked like a bad dog. I mean, he was amazing. And also part of that art is making the people notice what you're looking at without... <laughs> letting them know that you're wanting them to notice what you're looking at. So you look and he's yeah. a little double taking you and then you can't resist. You have yeah. to look more and then all of a sudden you start getting hot about it. And now you're laying now people are what's he looking like you were yeah. and by the time you get it could be nobody up there, but right. you, you like that now they're fucking hot. You're looking at nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you you can't let them know that you're yeah. wanting them to eavesdrop on you. They have to be catching you something, doing something that, yeah, and, you know what I'm saying. And this is what I think's wrong with the business. They uh, got never got the rub with the guys that they should have. You know, we, what I mean? we lost a generation. Yeah. We lost a generation yeah. in all that bullshit in yeah. the '90s. Yeah. And. The guys that knew how to do it were making a lot of money and didn't really particularly give a shit, yeah. some of them, about yeah. bringing the other guys up, didn't want to lose a spot. And a lot of the guys just went home. Yeah. The, the promoters that knew how to do all this stuff, they said, okay, yeah. well, we got our money or we lost our money, but one way or another, we're at home, we'll see you later. And, you know, we lost a generation. Now yeah. they all started trying to figure it out for themselves, but they're like going back trying to find that missing link. Where yeah. did we go? Yeah.